Anxiety 360. When your anxiety produces so much obsessive thinking that you don't know what to do, it's all in your head. It goes around and around and around and around and it seems like it never stops, right? So in this video, I want to give you some practical tips, some real strategies to help you the next time you're gonna have those thoughts that stick in your head that just can't get out. And sometimes you can't get to sleep. And so I wanna give you some very real strategies that you can do right now to stop those obsessive thoughts from continuing to stay in your head. First, try this. Uh, you probably heard of write down things, make a journal. And, and that's a good advice, that's sound advice. But I wanna try something a little bit different, a different spin or a different take on just simply writing a journal. So you can, you can do what's called free thought, free flow thinking or writing. And that is just get a pad of paper and you write every thought, every feeling that comes to mind and you just put it down on a, on, on a journal or on a piece of paper. That can help, that can help. But try this. I want you to try what I call a T-chart. A T-chart is simply drawing a T right down the middle of a piece of paper, a large T. So it takes up the entire paper. So you write the T. On the left side of that T, write down all your thoughts and all your feelings. No matter how random they may be, if they're stuck up here, you've got to get them out on paper. So write down all the things that you're thinking, all the things that you're feeling on the left side of that T. Then on the right side of that T, I want you to make a list of everything that you know to be true. What is what are, what are the truths that counter the false lies or the negative thoughts and feelings that you have on the left side? What's the truth? So if you feel like you have no friends, that's a valid thought or a feeling. That's valid. That's how you feel. But is it true? You feel like you're going to lose your job. Okay, that's a very, very, very valid thought and the feeling of anxiety that goes with it, that's valid. But is it true? So on the left side of that T, I want you to write down everything that you think up here that you can't get out of your mind. And then on the right side of that T, what are the truths or the facts that will counter those thoughts? Because remember, your thoughts and your feelings are not always accurate. And most of the time when your anxiety is high, your thoughts and your feelings are not accurate. They're going to teach you. They're going to convince you. They're going to make you believe in those lies. They're lies. They're false. It's They're hypocrites. Your anxiety is a hypocrite. Your anxiety is a fraud. Don't give in. So write down those thoughts and those feelings, but then on the right side of that T, the T chart, I want you to write down what is true, what is facts. And then I want you to focus on those facts. And then the second thing that I want you to do. This is strategies from keeping your obsessive thoughts for, for going around and around and preventing or keeping your anxiety from being 360. Uh, I want you to find something to distract you. Uh, not necessarily watching TV and not necessarily playing uh, music, uh, but other people in your life can help be a good distraction for you. So a spouse, a partner, a friend, somebody that you can talk to a random random topics get it completely off the topic that you're thinking about so that's the key is engage with other people about something completely opposite of what your thoughts are you got to disengage from those obsessive thoughts and engage into more rational thinking and a conversation that will help you so those are the two things I want you to work on. I want you to work on writing your T-chart every day. Every time that you have those obsessive thoughts, even in the middle of the night, you can't get to sleep, get up, go somewhere, write those down, and then go back to sleep. And then I want you to engage with other people about something completely off topic, what you're thinking about. That's going to help you. That's going to help those obsessive thinking, and that therefore will prevent your anxiety from being 360. It just never stops. So you try these things and then let me know in the comments below. I want to know, are, do these things help? Maybe they don't all the time, but are there times that they do? And then also give, give your tips of what helps your obsessive thinking 
because I want to help other people in this community to stop their anxiety from being 360 in their lives. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you, and take care of yourself. Bye.